I buy quite a lot of my crewel work from antique dealers, and which is fantastic because if they're a textile dealer, they know what they're talking about. And I've got certain two or three people that look out for things for me and they know the gaps in my collection. But sometimes I buy things from auction and I really, my heart's in my mouth because you, you know, you spend quite a lot of money and um, it might not be exactly what you thought because the images aren't always great. So a few months ago, I put in a bid in an American auction and I am stunned by the beautiful thing that has come into my ownership just for the moment. So I am just going to show you some amazing American crew work. It's been beautifully conserved. It's been very well mounted and there's nothing really to do to it. Um, and obviously I would never handle it from the front, but it is the most exquisite piece. And I have studied the pieces at Winterthur, but just for a day, not for, not for nearly long enough. And funnily enough, I, although I knew the measurements of this, I thought it would be bigger. So if this was a British piece, the scale would be another half again. So it's, it's half the size of a bed permit in, in uh, a British castle or country house. Um, it's really worked in a very amateurish way and very naively designed as well. And it's, it's following the tradition of, of the hammock and the tree of life. And there are some elements very like the Muncaster hanging that we have, which is um, um, little strawberries. You've got um, the, what um, would classified as a Tudor rose, I suppose. And uh, Scottish thistle here, which is very strangely um, done. And this sticky up poplar tree, which I've seen repeatedly in uh, Fra French crawl work and in American crawl work. So the influences have come into this, you know, they're multicultural and um, say a lot about the way we gather information for these fantastic designs. So I'm really at the beginning of my journey with this piece and um, I don't really know enough about it. I don't know. Those are oak, oak leaves. I'm beginning to see things coming back at me. That looks like a holly tree, but I don't know what these yellow leaves are. So this repeated tree of life design with a pretty flower in between, you know, it looks as though it was part of a bigger piece. Um, perhaps it wrapped all the way around, but you know that this was a hand made um, woven piece of backing fabric because it's the width of somebody's arm going backwards and forwards and it's not a machine made piece. It's really very moving to think that this has lasted all this time and it's now with me uh, for several years I hope and while I study it and one day I hope that we'll make it into a kit and one day I hope it will benefit other people who will get some sort of enjoyment from it and then it'll go back into the museums and um, be on public display.